Hello and welcome back. After the recent Best Picture win for Parasite at the 92nd Academy Awards, we've decided to take a deeper look into the 10 best films to come out of South Korea. Number 10. Train to Busan Train to Busan is an apocalyptic action movie that thoroughly delivers on the promise of its high concept premise whilst disregarding subtlety to create an entertaining flick that reinvigorates the zombie horror genre. As the country is overrun with a zombie outbreak, a group of desperate survivors board a train from Seoul to Busan in the hope for safety. However, as the situation escalates, the film's social commentary focuses on how class differences hinder everyone's chances of survival and infuses it with unbearable suspense and some amazing action sequences. Number 9. Mother <laughs> Bong Joon-ho weaves a visceral mystery thriller around the murder of a teenage girl, the suspect of which is a boy with learning disabilities. His mother starts her own investigation to find out the real culprit, an action that subsequently throws her into a world of deception and moral corruption, leaving us with one of the finest performances to come out of South Korea. Number 8. The Host Bong Joon-ho utilises his renowned perspective on social themes to create a commentary on healthcare bureaucracy, consumerism and pollution whilst also managing to manifest a riveting monster movie. Bong manages to coincide the socio-political critique with blockbuster spectacle to create remarkable set pieces that see the creature wreaking havoc around the Han River, whilst also infusing the film with a dose of humour to create a truly unique experience. Number 7. I Saw the Devil South Korea has garnered a reputation for creating brutal and bloody thrillers, and I Saw the Devil is no different. A revenge thriller driven by powerful performances, stirring violence and incredible technical craft with both noir-esque cinematography and a haunting score, Kim Ji-woon's film is an unrelenting tale of vengeance that refuses to go easy on its audience. Number 6. Spring, Summer, Fall, Winter and Spring Known for his more gut-wrenching and violent arthouse cinematic works, Kim Ki-dok averts expectations by instead delivering a more subdued and contemplative piece of work. Spring, Summer, Fall, Winter and Spring is a beautiful movie that shines through its simplicity and storytelling, presenting the tale through little to no dialogue. While some may consider the film to be rather slow-paced, it nonetheless avoids becoming boring owing to its captivating ideas and stunning imagery. Oh, Number 5. Snowpiercer Mr. Wilford knew that CW7 would freeze the world, so what did the prophetic Mr. Wilford invent to protect the Chosen from that calamity? Produced by Park Chan-wook and directed by Bong Joon-ho, Snowpiercer is a staggeringly futuristic dystopian thriller about a train with a class-based society set hundreds of years into a new ice age as it hurtles across the planet cutting through snow and ice. With an all-star cast including Chris Evans, Tilda Swinton and John Hurt, Snowpiercer has garnered cult status due to its ambitious and thought-provoking premise and creative action sequences. <laughs> Number 4. The Handmaiden After his successful vengeance trilogy, Park Chan-wook returned with The Handmaiden, 
a suspense thriller that manages to blend several story aspects to create an enthralling film that acts as both an erotic period drama and an alluring psychological thriller, creating a visceral cinematic experience that packs layers of romance and deception. With superb performances from the leads, The Handmaiden is a classic tale of crime, sex, ambition, and love. Number 3. Memories of Murder Rich in detail and suspense, Memories of Murder is an incredible character study that creates disquieting tension throughout the film's running time. The muted colour palette and stunning cinematography create a sense of horror that lurks throughout. Whilst the subject matter is unsettling, Bong Joon-ho manages to utilise dark humour to further build upon the character's mismatched attitudes. Number 2. Old Boy <laughs> The second film in Park Chan-wook's Vengeance Trilogy is an exotic revenge symphony that plunges the audience into a world of violence and horror as it spirals into a hellish nightmare. The story follows an arrogant man who was abducted by an unknown figure and imprisoned for 15 years, only for him to exact his terrible vengeance upon release. With an incredible choreographed hallway fight sequence and bizarre moments such as the consumption of a live octopus, Old Boy is an extraordinary revenge drama that goes above and beyond. Before we reveal our number one film, here are some honourable mentions that just miss the list. Lady Vengeance. Free Iron. Burning. The Good, The Bad, The Weird. Oakja. Number one, Parasite. The film that made history, the first international film to take home Best Picture, Bong Joon-ho's Parasite is an intriguing social satire that's rife with undeniable craft and stylish visuals. A riotous flick that offers an uncompromising vision that acts as a commentary on Korean society whilst remaining entertaining, further proven that Bong Joon-ho is arguably the finest filmmaker to hail from South Korea. Thank you for watching. Have your own opinions? Leave them in the comments below and be sure to subscribe for new content every week.